What's up, YouTube? Anchor Jackalope here. Rob Ricks. I am back with another story. This one is about an alliance I made with spiders. Okay? So, when we were staying in my sister-in-law's basements, it was filled with fucking spiders from time to time. Fucking. And some of these spiders would be about like that big. I mean, they would be really fucking big. And one night, we're laying on this bed, me and my wife, and she's pregnant with my son. Um, you know, waiting for her to give birth and I'm laying there and the bed wasn't really big. So we were kind of just, I was spooning her, holding her, you know, and I'd rub her belly and stuff. Uh, and all of a sudden I felt something just go on my leg and I'm laying there and just go, and it was hot. So I didn't have a blanket on me and I could just feel it on my naked, naked skin. And this is how it sounded. Here, I get close to my, I could hear that sound. Okay. And then I felt the fucker crawling up my leg and I'm like, holy shit, this is a big fucking spider and it's crawling up my leg. So it landed right near my knee and it's going up my thigh and it gets to my fucking hip. And I'm like, oh fuck. And I'm, I sleep in my underwear, right? So I'm sitting there and I can feel it on my underwear and I'm like, dude, it's going near my junk. I can't have a fucking spider there. And the whole time I want to swing it to some bitch, but I'm holding my wife, right? And I don't want to push her and swing down and everything and I don't want to freak her out because I know there's a big ass fucking spider crawling on my fucking leg and so I tap her I tap her I tap her and she's like what I said shh don't move don't move okay there's a spider on me I'm gonna push you okay get up and I'm gonna get it off me right so we go one two three like a well oiled fucking machine one two three boom boom I flip it like hit it okay and I get up and I'm turning on the lights and I'm trying to find this fucking spider I can't find this some bitch anywhere and it's freaking me the fuck out because the spider, I just know it's big. Because when I hit it with my hand, I felt it. And I felt that kind of substance. It was a big, beefy fucking spider. So I'm like, oh, shit. So we, that night, we don't sleep very well because we can't fucking find a spider. And it's freaking us the fuck out. Okay. Well, the next day, we're up in the, the, the TV area, up in the family room. And the kids find the spider with a big fucking sack of baby spiders on its back and i'm like oh shit guys that's a baby fucking you know that's a bunch of spiders there and they're like let's kill it i said no 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 don't kill it don't kill it so i get a little jar you know and i get it in a jar gently as fuck a couple of the babies are starting to come off and i'm like fuck i gotta get out of here and i said listen i'll make you a deal i'll make a pact with the spider kind i will save this one here with all the babies and you guys won't fuck with us Okay, you'll leave us alone down in the basement. I'm tired of you guys fucking crawling on us, fucking stalking us, etc. Spider packed. Okay, so <laughs> I take the spider outside. I say, you know, go ahead, live your life, have your babies, and I put it in a nice, safe spot. And it comes out of the thing, and it's good. Now here's the crazy thing. For the rest of the time we were there, fuck, even now, even now. I have no problems with spiders. I see fucking big spiders from time to time, and they don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with them. You know what I mean? If they're like in a common area of the house, I'll get them caught, and I'll get them outside, and I tell them the spider pact remains. But, you know, we've never had a spider crawl on us again, never had a spider fucking. I mean, these spiders were aggressive. We'd be walking in the garage, and there'd be one on the wall, and as I'm walking, it's like following, following, following. And I'd be like, holy shit, man, this fucking spider is fucking hella aggressive, you know? And they're big, fucking big. Now, I don't think they're like poisonous or anything like that. But still, I'd imagine a bite from one of them big fucking spiders would hurt, right? So anyway, um, that is the story of the spider pact. And I think it still remains because, like I said, I haven't had no fucking problems with spiders. In fact, I'm happy to see the spiders because I, I, I embrace the spiders here in the garage because, you know, we got these fucking flies that come in from time to time. And I'm happy as fuck when I see a fly getting in the spiders. Well, I'm like, eat that motherfucker because I hate fucking flies. I can't stand them. Nasty motherfuckers. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Share the 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 uh, thing with the spider pack because you never know. I mean, we joke and we talk a lot of shit and we look at animals below us and stuff, but maybe maybe there could be some kind of a thing to it. I think it's a funny funny little story, but you know, like I said, up till the spider pack, we were having spider issues everywhere. After the spider pack, not a fucking issue, and that's it's been fucking. 
11, 11 and a half years since that shit. So you decide. Is there something to the spider pact? Or is it all in my mind? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this story. All right, guys, if you like it, like it. Please subscribe. Tell all your fucking friends. I want more subscribers. I want I want to get the craziness of the Angry Jack Love out to the world. I want to take the world by storm. All right, guys. Till next time, be good to each other. And um, I'll see you. See you again.